Hello, thank you for joining me. You're watching Esther from Stampin' Star Creations. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the UK. I've already gone ahead and pre-cut all the bits and pieces using the lovely Petal Promenade paper. And I've die-cut that with the scallop die from the Seasonal Layers Thin Knits die, which match the colourful season stamp set. Gone ahead and cut out a scallop circle and a copper branch. Using this lovely, delightfully detailed laser cut uh, designer series paper as a feature to my card. Going in with the Blushing Bride and using the sponge to create a lovely soft background to where that paper is going to lay on the card. Go in with the fine tip glue pen and this just gives great precision for where you want to add touches or dots of glue to the thicker parts of the paper. Once that's stuck down, I just go back to my trusty Tombow glue. It's great liquid glue that dries fast once it's stuck down. And just need to trim off those edges of the pair of scissors. Going in with the scallop circle, I go around and just sponge the edges of those and those blossoms that I cut out using matching blushing bride paper. To add some detail to these flowers, I use the um, underneath of the piercing tool and pressing it into the piercing mat, it just helps to give that concave look. Using that fine tip glue pen again, it's great for those very thin dyes. Grab some of that lovely new pink metallic thread that we've got. Create a Spin it around the, my fingers to create some circles. I'm holding it together and using a glue dot to hold it in place. And then that silicone mat is so handy for things like that, so I've gone ahead and used that. And then using the stamp for from the, oh, what's the stamp set called? Crafting Forever and that sentiment from there because these are going to be my customer thank you cards for the month and going in my trusty waterfront speckles <laughs> just add some more detail to the background of the card popping on the sentiment with dimensionals and using those lovely mini dimensionals which is just so handy to use for the smaller dies and popping up the blossoms on that finishing touches using those Pearls. I think I used the medium size and then a mixture to add a bit more detail around the sentiment. I felt like something was missing. Here's a couple that I made before and just goes to show the difference of the cards using the different paper and just putting it in a slightly different position. Although it's very similar, you get a different look and each card is unique. Thank you ever so much for watching. Do subscribe to my channel for more videos. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this and comment below. Here's the a few pictures of the finishing product. If you live in the UK and you'd like a catalogue, do get in touch with me. Thank you very much.